welcome back for the next tutorial uh, in the gis tutorial video today we are going to make the topographic witness index so this is the final map which you will get after performing all this tutorial which i will give and this topographic witness index is used to identify the effect of the topography on hydrological process uh, like among other things like soil clogging and this index is important in the studies of the erosion landslide or the flood risks as this topographic witness index will compression bringing out uh, relatively flat and the naturally moist areas by their position in the basin so here are the steps and the procedure for this uh, tutorial or for the topographic witness index we will follow thoroughly uh, these steps um so and these uh, these are the final maps which you'll get after following follow that tutorial so for performing this topographic witness index first you should select your research area or your area of the interest and you should clip the dem file so for the first step we should make our analyze the flow direction map So for this, uh, source the flow direction uh, that is of the spatial analyst tool. So for the inputting uh, file, put the research name of your area of the interest and you can save your file in the org file. You can uh, name it with FD uh, that is flow direction so you can click uh, OK here So here we get the flow direction map. So now we will forward uh, toward the next step. And the next step is of the flow uh, accumulation. Again, uh, source the flow accumulation in search bar. So flow accumulation is of also uh, the spatial analyst tool where for the flow direction we will put the fd which we have saved before and we can name this output with the fa that is that belongs to flow accumulation so here we can click ok so we get the flow accumulation map forwarding toward the next step i will analyze the slope uh, with the dim data of your research area now source the slope of the spatial analyst tool and here for the input we should uh, input the dim data of your research area you can output uh, name with the slope Now you can click uh, OK. So now here we get the slope map. So again with the next step, we have to calculate the slope uh, with the, some conversion factor with the expression here. So we have to search here uh, raster calculator. Now you can see the register calculator of the spatial analyst tool. Uh, click on that and then you can put the expression as in the steps. 
here. Here the expression is the slope d, which I've renamed it before. So click with the slope d, and you can multiply it it with uh, 1.570796, and which is divided with 90. Now you can rename uh, with the final slope or you can also name it with the radian slope as as for your wish and then you can click ok uh, so after here we get the slope after the uh, raster calculation Uh, now we'll move forward with the next step uh, for the tan slope again we'll go with the raster calculator here for the tan slope now we'll again start with the raster calculator and uh, for this here is the formula you can apply condition and click with that final slope before before extraction one and greater than zero and again apply with the tan let's select the tan and in bracket again apply with that put that final slope You can rename it with tan slope then cl click ok and then here we get the tan slope again we have to uh, prepare the flow accumulation scaled with the calculation by the raster calculator so here For the uh, flow accumulation size, uh, first we should know the cell size of the uh, accumulation work. So here in the raster calculator, first select the uh, flow accumulation, add with uh, 1 and which is multiplied with the cell size so first we have to go with the properties of the flow accumulation so here in the properties as you go in the source you can see the cell size so now click that one and copy that cell size and paste here now you can rename it with the fa scale the fa refers to the flow accumulation and then you can save it here click ok here we get the fa scaled now uh, for the last 
and the final steps for the topographic weightness index uh, go with the raster calculator again and here choose ln and here in the bracket you have to choose the fa scale Hmm. F is scale and then which is divided with the tan slope and rename it with uh, uh, TWI topographic weightness index and click OK. So this is the final map of the topographic okay. weightness index. You can change the color ramp going with the properties and you can uh, use the data frame in the coordinate system of this same data. You can change the page uh, setup as well with the landscape. Here you can insert uh, the legend, then you can classify it with the equal interval and change the color ramp. So here you can change the background of legend area as well uh, as for your interest and then you can choose the scale bar You can put the uh, arrow as well in your preferred area with the title uh, topographic weightness index. Now for the grid, uh, you can choose the new grid here and this go to the properties and change the levels and change the properties of the intervals then you get the grid coordinate system here you can insert the picture as well if you want to add here so i'm adding this yes tutorial Now you can export uh, this map and this is the final picture of uh, our topographic witness index map which we get from this tutorial video and you can use it for your research.